Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and as we are going to look at the Windows security app for Windows, uh, both Windows 11 and Windows 10 will have each a separate video so that first of all it's going to uh, make sure that only Windows 10 users see the Windows 10 only if they want and also because the security app is different from both version. So the Windows security app, uh, really the only app you need, honestly, um, any other third-party antivirus is not really protecting you more. It's more of an impression and, you know, it's fine if you're using whatever you want, but never think that the antivirus is what's protecting you. It isn't. What's protecting you updates to the Windows system and the software you use and you just being careful what you do. That's 99.9% .9 of all the protection. So at uh, Windows Security App, when you look at the security at a glance page, uh, like Windows 11, um, there is virus and threat protection. When you click on it, you have the current threats. It tells you when it scanned last time, how many files were scanned. So 40,812 40, here. And the scan lasted 3 minutes and 22 seconds. This is a quick scan, of course. You need to do more than a quick scan. You'd like to scan the full drive or, you know, really check it out. It's going to take time, especially if you're on a standard hard drive. If you click scan options, you will have the option to go to the quick scan, full scan, custom scan, or offline scan. Quick scan, of course, tells what it is. That is automatically done almost every day. Full scan, full hard drive. This is going to take a long time. Custom, you can choose what folder you want to scan. And offline scan is often um, the best option if you do have a threat that's found and it doesn't seem to go away. The offline scan will actually possibly be able to remove whatever threat was there. A lot of files, a lot of malware are actually, when they're active, you just can't remove them or do anything. You have to do it when you restart. Then you've got allowed threats, which tells you which ones you actually have left um, available, which means you could have something that you downloaded and um, you know there could be a false positive, that happens, or it could be something you don't want the antivirus to actually remove, uh, which is a very bad idea, by the way, but uh, you can allow threats with this. Then you've got protection history, tells you what app has been blocked, and this is actually a game that I have that uh, it stubbornly wants to block all the time that I removed finally after a while because I just wanted to uh, to stop the uh, threats uh, from arriving. Then you got the virus and threat protection, which you, uh, of course, can manage settings, which is real-time protection, cloud-delivered protection, automatic samples of mission for files that they are not really sure. You have tamper protection, which is also uh, something that can be turned on to prevent tampering of important security features. Uh, control folder access, you can actually specifically say some folders, no apps except the ones that I give permission can modify, which means technically ransomware could not go on a folder and encrypt files. There's uh, exclusions that you can actually say, well, don't tell me anything about that. I don't want to you to tell me that that could be a potential problem. And then there's the uh, notification settings depending on critical information and information that it could send you on the uh, notifications. And uh, then, of course, you have the update. It tells you if you're up to date. And the ransomware protection, where you can manage ransomware protection with mostly the controlled folder access, which is the biggest protection for ransomware. By controlling folders, you, of course, can prevent some of the folders and some of the files from being encrypted. And of course, also it goes with another thing. If you um, have ransomware data recovery uh, active, what happens is that the files are sent to OneDrive. And of course, if you do get ransomware and, and the files get encrypted, 
you'll be able to get them back from your OneDrive folder. So that's the virus and threat protection section of the Windows Security app in Windows 10. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.